we were lucky enough to receive a copy of the Indomitus box for the new edition of Whammer 40,000. And we thought one of the Deathwing Blade Guard models would be a great way to show you how to produce a simple bone coloured armour scheme for your army. To begin with, I've primed the model black, but you can use any colour you want, really doesn't make any difference. I'm going to give the whole model a base coat of Tamiya Brown, and I've thinned this two to three drops of thinner to one drop of paint, enough so that when I spray it on, I don't see any speckles, so we can build it up to a nice smooth finish. Probably going to take three or four layers over a black primer. Don't worry about the really flat finish from this paint. With no pre-shade or pre-highlight, we can go straight to the highlight colour for the armour. And this is going to be the final colour that we see. And for this, I've used Tamiya Dectan. So I'm going to take my time, consider my light source, and consider the shapes of the areas that I'm highlighting, and then make sure everything matches up. You see here we're already getting a nice bone colour. And on the back I pick another light source, and again just make sure it's consistent, in this case it's coming from the right so everything facing there is going to get a highlight. I've thinned this slightly more, probably four drops of thinner to one drop of paint. When it comes to spraying lighter colours through an airbrush, they can often be really tricky and you'll get a lot of splattering and a lot of speckles. This is normally due to the pigment size of the paint. So wherever possible, we'll use Tamiya paints for these kind of colours. They're very, very reliable and you can thin them right down and maintain control. Once you're happy with the colour, give the whole model a couple of coats of polyurethane gloss varnish. You'll notice as we gloss the model, the colour gets much darker. This is something we'll address later on. Two to three solid coats, letting it dry in between, will protect it and prepare it for the next stage. Let's mix up an enamel pin wash. So I put a little bit of Sansador thinner in the dish, and then add some AK Interactive panel liner for sand and desert camouflage. Super cool to see it mix. And I'd rather this mix was on the thin side, you see here. That way, if I want to make panel lines darker, I'll just reapply it, rather than having too much to begin with. If you want to know more about this type of wash technique, check out our other video. I really, really like this colour used over the bone armour scheme. Just brings in another tone and that really important definition. So it's looking pretty good. But as I said before, the gloss varnish has made the armour look a little darker than it was originally. So to bring back that nice bone colour, I'm going to hit it with a satin varnish. You can see here, that more matte finish on the highlights has really brought back that lighter bone colour. Completely up to you what finish you go for on the model, this was a 4 to 1 mix of matte to gloss. Now we could leave it here, but it'd be quite nice to add a few more details to this kind of scheme, seeing as how quick it was to get to this stage. Perhaps you'll just save this for character models, but we're going to do a little bit of edge highlighting with Scale 75 Birch. You see, it just really helps to bring your attention to whatever area of the model you want people to look at. And for battle damage, I've used a brown colour. In this case, Vallejo Panzer Aces Dark Rust. Any dark brown paint would do. This kind of colour scheme is perfect for doing weathering over. So if you fancy giving that a go on your next army, 
consider a light coloured scheme like this. Light coloured armour schemes like this have often had a bad rep to be really difficult or tricky to produce. But hopefully you can see that with the right paints, it's a very simple process and a very striking result. And it's one of my favourite types of colours to see on an army, especially for gaming. If you've enjoyed this short recipe video, then hit the like button. And to make sure you don't miss out on any more, hit subscribe. We'll see you next time.